Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about shift registers in digital electronics course, digital logic design course, switching theory and logic design course and computer organization and architecture course. Before going to the shift register, first of all, we have to know about flip-flop and register. First point, a flip-flop is a storage device that is used for storing only one bit of data that is either 0 or a 1. That means we want to store a single bit of data, we require a storage device that a device can be called as flip-flop. Suppose we want to store multiple bits of data, we require multiple number of flip-flops. To store two bit of data, we require two flip-flops. To store three bit of data, we require three flip-flops. To store four bit of data, we require 4 flip-flops. To store n bit of data, we require n number of flip-flops. Next one is a register. A register is also a storage device that is used for storing multiple bits of data. That means a register is a collection of flip-flops that are connected in series to store multiple bits of data. To store multiple bits of data, a single flip-flop is not sufficient. To store multiple bits of data, we require multiple number of flip-flops. That multiple number of flip-flops are connected in series to store multiple bit of data. Next one is whatever the data that is stored within the registers that can be moved either in left direction or in the right direction with the help of shift registers by applying clock pulse. Next point. A shift register is a register that is used for storing multiple bits of data. That data can be moved either in left direction or in right direction by applying clock pulses. Next point, a shift register is also a collection of flip-flops that is used for storing multiple bits of data. In addition to storing multiple bits of data, that data can be shifted either in left direction or in right direction with the help of clock pulses. Next point, an n-bit shift register can store n bit of data. It contains n number of flip-flops. That means, suppose we want to store n bit of data, we require n number of flip-flops. That n number of flip-flops are connected in series. So then it can be called as n bit shift register. Whatever the data that are stored in n number of flip-flops that can be moved either in left direction or in right direction with the help of clock pulse. Next point, a register capable of shifting the data only in the left direction, that register can be called as shift left register. A register is capable of shifting the bits only in right direction, then it can be called as shift right register. 
a register capable of shifting the data both in left direction and right direction then it can be called as bidirectional shift register next point a register is capable of shifting the data in both directions left and right and also it contains the parallel load capabilities that register can be called as universal shift register a universal shift register is a bidirectional shift register it can uh, it can move the data in both directions that is in left direction and also in right direction and also it can take the data in parallel form and also it can produce the data also in parallel form all the parallel load capabilities that can be done within a single register and also whatever the data that is stored within within it that can be moved either in left direction or in right direction then that register can be called as universal shift register next point a register capable of shifting the data only in one direction that register can be called as unidirectional shift register a register capable of shifting the data in both directions then that register can be called as bidirectional shift register next point next based on the input and output shift registers are classified into four types first one is siso that means serial in serial out shift register second one is sipo that means serial in parallel out shift register third one is piso parallel in serial out shift register and fourth one is pipo parallel in parallel out shift register so first one is siso shift register a shift register which allows only serial input that is si and produce only serial output that is so then that type of shift register can be called as siso shift register that is serial in serial out shift register that means which allows only serial input the serial input can be entered into the shift register bit by bit and also leave out from the shift register also bit by bit in serial fashion so this diagram represents the siso shift register the data can be entered into the shift register in serial fashion bit by bit and also leave out from the shift register bit by bit in serial fashion next second one is sipo shift register a shift register which allows only serial input that is si and produce only parallel output that is po that type of shift register can be called as serial in parallel out shift register this shift register enters the input data in serial fashion bit by bit and leave out leave out the data bits from the shift register at the same time so then that type of shift register can be called as serial in parallel out shift register third one is piso shift register parallel in serial out shift register the data can be entered into the shift register in parallel fashion that is pi and leave out from the shift register in serial fashion that is so so that means the data can be entered into the shift register 
within a single corpus and the data bits can be leave out from the shift register in serial fashion bit by bit then the type of shift register called as parallel in serial out shift register next one pipo shift register parallel in parallel out shift register a shift register which allows only parallel input and produce only parallel output then that type of shift register can be called as pipo shift register this shift register can enter the input data in parallel fashion within a single clock pulse and the data can be leaved out from the shift register in also parallel fashion within a single clock pulse so within a single clock pulse the data can be entered into the shift register in parallel fashion and also data can be leaved out from the shift register in parallel fashion so that can be done within a single clock pulse here the data can be entered into the shift register within a single clock pulse and the data can be leaved out from the shift register in a serial fashion so it can take a number of clock pulses next one here the data can be entered into the shift register in a serial fashion it can take a number of clock pulses n is nothing but number of bits and the data can be leaved out from the shift register in four clock pulses next in this shift register the data can be entered into the shift register in and the data can be leaved out from the shift register within n number of clock pulses suppose n value is equal to 4 it can take four clock cycles it can take also four clock cycles it can take also four clock cycles but it can take only single clock pulse to transfer the data from parallel input to parallel output so this is the description about what is shift register what is serial uh, what what is shift left register what is shift right register what is bidirectional shift register what is universal shift register what are the types of shift registers and that can be explained within diagrammatic representation in the next video we have to discuss about each and every shift register how the data can be transferred by using siso sipo piso and pipo can that can be discussed in future videos okay so this video contains only description point of view so after that we have to elaborate each and every type of shift register thank you thank you for watching this video if you really like this video please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates if you really like this video please subscribe my youtube channel so divela srinivasarao after subscribing my youtube channel click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my youtube channel for getting more videos in this channel so please visit the playlist called dld orr stld orr digital electronics it contains approximately 320 videos thank you thank you for watching this video